It is Saturday and my handsome hubby is helping once again. <laughs> I'm so excited. Don't know why I just did that, but I'm so excited. Look what Nolan just built. Oh, isn't that so cool? Anyway, it still needs finished out around the edges. We're running out of time. I was hoping we'd get the ceiling done yet, but that didn't happen. He has other things he needs to do. This has given me a big boost. Now I think I'm gonna start um, working at just building the bed frame. So I'll just let the ceiling panels till um, he can help because that's gonna be a little bit tricky. So this is the edge, this is the carpet that comes up from underneath. So I'm just gonna start by running some glue under this and nails under that and then we're gonna bring the plywood up to the edge. Now I'm going to try to cut a piece of wood that will slide back in there and come out here and we'll glue it against the side and staple it in and also have staples and screws going into the wood there. I have this all cleaned off and swept off and I am now going to try to cut the piece of wood that goes into that corner. So ah, let's hope this works. I need to run a board through the table saw. Let's go try this. Now this is supposed to be going in this hole. Whoops. What did I just do? Okay. <laughs> Not sure what I was thinking, but I'm hoping this time I got the measurements correct. It's gonna be a little tricky because yeah, we'll see. Oh, that's still just a hair tight. All right. Look at this, guys. Boop, boop, boop. I... There, I have it the whole way against. Get this to measure 60 inches. The width of a queen bed is 60 inches. So I thought the camera was recording, but it wasn't. But I put two screws in here. I'm just gonna put a few more. All right, woohoo! So I'm gonna p build a permanent ledge, but I'm not sure how far I want it out, actually because obviously we'll be sitting here, so not too far out. And then we'll build it back to here and do an L shape. Now I'm just gonna finish gluing this on and stapling that down. This is getting pretty close to ready. But my son's awake, so yeah, we need to get rolling. It's gonna fit! Look at this! Ah! 
this is once again not straight so right along here I wanted this flush which is pretty much flush here and then right here sticks out about a quarter of an inch so I'm gonna try something I'm gonna try cutting from there over there um, yeah I'm not sure if that's gonna work or not I got the front piece done. Now I think this will be the next easiest piece. I'm gonna go cut that and I'll be back. Oh man, I'm so disappointed. I was going to use this same plywood and just cut the grain the other way to go this way, but it's not quite wide enough to get my pieces out for both sides. So I'm gonna have to go get another one. Man, I was hoping to do this tonight. Why does this always have to happen? <sighs> Man. All right, it's a couple days later and we got another sheet of plywood. My little man is right out there playing with his wagon. The most fun he has is taking off those little rails and putting them off and on. <laughs> oh, what a kid. All right. So let's see if this fits. Ah, can't wait to get this bunk finished. <clears throat> I know I've said this before, but the, one of the biggest pains of working in this thing is nothing is square. You just cannot cut a straight line and things happen. So look here. This is straight, a straight line. And then here, that goes crooked. And down here, about a whole inch or half inch less than from here to the wall. I'm not sure if, to, if I want to cut it or what to do. Cut it on a slant, I guess. <laughs> My husband's always laughing how I measure. I'll be like, oh, it's a half inch and two notches after the half inch. <laughs> Terrible. I'm going to go from this corner to this. Woo! By the skin of my teeth. Helping. What's the size? How many is it? Okay. You tell mommy how much it measures. How many is it? A two. A two. Okay. This is the bottom. So I want to trim this out. I'm not quite sure how to go about it because this part sticks further out than this part, so I want it to overlap when we trim this off, and so on and such forth. So I got these thin pieces of poplar, or whatever they are. Trim out these edges. Okay, I marked on here. I just kind of laid a board across here and marked, and we're hoping we're right, so we're just gonna try the Dremel. So I cut this little piece of wood, I'm going to glue it and nail it down here so that this is almost flush with that so when we put the board over top of this it has somewhere to rest. It's a Friday afternoon and Nolan is so nicely helping us continue finishing this roof. So maybe, fingers crossed, we'll get it done today.
shift position between That's the not states too bad. and the south and the north, but they sometimes <laughs> call Congress into special session. And there are a few things that are a matter of military necessity if he had been able first to all of so the Let's hold it up the part way now. So Nolan got that all finished, looks amazing. Now I'm just gonna glue this, cap this off with this, and finish nailing that piece down. I'm going to attempt to trim out these edges here. All right, I have that, this, and this trimmed out. It's still pretty rough. I'm going to have to do a lot of caulking. And then this goes right here. Then we're going to have to figure out this side. All right, I have this wacky piece cut, and it goes right under there. I am back, and I finally got another piece. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but it didn't normally happen. I ran out of side trim. Hey, every time you wanna just about finish something up. What I'm doing next is this part in the front, uh, right here. There's nothing that this can hold on to, this seam. So I think it would just look a lot better if I finish this part out with wood. So I'm gonna use the same pieces I used in the bathroom, but the flip side, because I want it to be brown. So I'm gonna see if I can cut enough to just go up to here and see how it looks. It's gonna go like so, 26 and one eighth I guess. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go see if I cut it right. Knowing me, I usually have to cut things like three times before they fit. And then usually they don't fit and I cut them too much and bleh. nice and almost one and a half and that's one and a quarter and here we go now is that gonna work
anyway, I have this finished. It's far from perfect, but I'm happy with it. There's some gaps right there, and that top cut is a little bit ragged. But hey, I think that's gonna look really nice. I'm happy with it. Much more structure for if you're laying up there and always bumping up against it. So, now, trim out the ceiling and all that. See if I have time to do that yet. Ta-da! The majority of everything is finished. Nolan finished this cabinet right here. Doesn't that look nice? Uh, we have the bunk finished and trimmed out. I got the wood in the front. I didn't show you everything, but I was trimming out the side pieces, all that. The splices up here and the ceiling, those I'm going to put stained wood pieces on. So first, we're gonna paint the whole thing and then that's gonna be the last step. I, all I have to do yet, which won't happen tonight, is caulk everything, and I mean like all the nail holes, all the little cracks and crevices, uh, cause this thing's so whatever, not all my cuts are perfect. That's gonna take a while, but hopefully I can get that done in a day. And then my mom said she'd come help paint, so. <sighs> Painting's coming right up. Still feels like we have a long way to go, but hey, at least all the building is finished. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Sorry these updates are kind of few and far between. It's just taking me a while to keep up with life and keep up with videos and keep up with all the work and anyway. But we might just get to go camping this summer yet. Hopefully. What's the size? How many is it? Okay. Oh, it's kind of bright, isn't it? Can you measure it for mommy? You tell mommy how much it measures. <laughs>